My personal philosophy is that um, there are so many photographers who shoot the same image or the same style of image as everybody else, you know, and I, I just think that unless your pictures have something about them that's a little bit different, a little bit more unusual, why should people notice or remember them? And one of the things I've done in the past is you give a woman or a guy a magazine and you say, have a look through this magazine. And then later on you say to them, tell me how many pictures you can remember out of that magazine. And it's very often very few. And so I think that <clears throat> our philosophy as photographers should be that to try to stop people turning the page, to try to create pictures which people will see and not easily forget. And although it's difficult to do, occasionally we manage to do it. And uh, we finally got our live feed going here and hopefully it lasts throughout the day. My approach, my, my inspiration, a lot of it has come from Alexander McQueen. He took a high fashion look and he put a punky, edgy twist to it. And that is something that, you know, has given him that ability to stand out from the crowd. Mm -hmm. So I love following his lead and his concept and sometimes even his images. So, you know, when you take that, you know, look that we actually put together, um, you have that woman who is 30, 40 years old, has foregone any type of, you know, modeling or, you know, feeling good about herself because... Our society is a male-based society. Everything that we do is dictated basically how man deems it necessary to be, you know, portrayed. My name is Stephanie. I am 36. Um, I have two children, Sydney, that's 12, and Cameron, who is 8. He and I got to talking, and we talked on the phone about 30 minutes. Then we met at the coffee shop. Um, and so he convinced me that this would be fun. And for me, it was about growing as a person. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can only grow so much in the current situation you're in. Right. So when you expand those horizons, then perhaps you have a chance to grow further. How I interpret it is that Chuck is wanting to bring these women from different geographical locations together to share their story, um, empower them to show the world that you can be beautiful without showing a lot of skin, um, but more emotion. Mm -hmm. And by telling your story and your, giving your attitude to the camera, it's going to show it from a woman's perspective. I try in my pictures to empower women and I would love to get women to be, or models to look, you know, that powerful look and I want them to look so they can rule the world and they do these days. And, uh, and um, so I try to keep that in my mind. I, I'm, I'm not one of those photographers that wants sort of smiley pictures. I'm, I'm not denigrating people that do that, but it's just not my style. And so I like that bit of haut and that, you know, that you get. Uh, yeah. 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 And it, it brings across a very powerful look in models. And I love that. I love that a lot. My name is Rain, I'm 31, and aside of modeling, I do pipelining as well. I was that girl. I really was.
society says you cap off at around 28, you have to be 5'9", you have to have a size 0 to 2. I range between a 2 and a 6, depending on my fluffy seasons and my not so fluffy seasons. And I'm okay with that because I'm human and I, I can't put myself to a standard that I cannot achieve or I'll be in a spiral of depression. So I range from a two on my amazing days, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. To a six, which I'm still okay as long as I eat right and I feel good. Mm -hmm. And I'm 31, I'm not 22. You do what you do and you own it. You've got to keep moving. You can't stay stagnant. You can't. So it's never too late to me. It's definitely empowered me. It definitely builds one's self-esteem. And I think women need that. I truly, I feel like there's so much thrashing that um, what Chuck has created in the sisterhood, he's... He's managed to seek out and find the more mature women that aren't so catty, that want to just tell you, you look, oh, you're cute, and then slice you. And you have that, unfortunately, in the real world. And it is very real, and it becomes even more real in this setting because so many find it to be a competition instead of embracing each individual's color that they bring to the rainbow. They don't see it like we have seen it. Like, she rocks the punky look, the edgy look. And she, she owns it. And this girl is very elegant and classy, and she can pull off some of the softer looks and the romantic and the whimsical. And then this one is fortunate enough to be able to blend between the two. And so you have hot, cold, and a warm, and the way that each of us are balanced so beautifully together. Meadow. I am a mother and I recently fell in love. I have a beautiful little girl named Victoria. She's perfect. She's everything that I'm not. She loves pink, Hello Kitty, and glitter and sparkles. She's my purpose. I saw some of Chuck's pictures and I thought they were beautiful and very different. Strange, strange and beautiful. The women they were all individuals, but then fit together, kind of like a bouquet. And I love the costuming, because they all matched in a way, but were totally separate. I've never seen that before in a photograph. Either everyone's the same, or it's showing contrast. His is in the medium. It makes you think about things. You see everything, but nothing overtakes the other. inspiring other people to feel comfortable with who they are. But the thing is about it is to see the glory within yourself and to feel comfortable to stand bold and naked in front of the universe and to let them see that just like a rose, people are perfect on their own. You don't have to be without blemish or flaw to be yourself. Steampunk is interesting because there's a little bit of harshness to it. So there's a strength in it that comes with the femininity too. And the sexuality, I feel like, is not as aggressive or upfront with other things. And that the image isn't necessarily meant to entice, but to draw the viewer in and to maybe make you think. There's more than one kind of beautiful. I like it. Every, well, I mean, usually when you go to shoots, especially big cluster shoots, because I do a lot of boudoir and a lot of glamour photography, that um, everybody gets along well, but that no one really is friends because we don't, we might interact a little bit, but not that much. Mm -hmm. This is different because it really is a family and a whole group of people. Mm -hmm. And so they all know each other, they interact with each other, and they're part of each other's personal lives. So it's interesting to watch beautiful images coming from beautiful relationships. Oh. <laughs>
Let's make a movement. Thank you.